in there. Oh my god, there's so many requests. Oh my god. Yes. Okay. I know I have said every time, um, which one, I, no, I have not been sent home. I was just in the bottom three. <laughs> what was I going to say? Um, what was I going to say? Um, I'm going to do, after I'm done with my eyes, I am going to uh, do like live, like jump ons together because I've said that in my last lives that I was going to and I haven't, but I'm going to commit this time. Um, I want to win too. Let's hope fingers crossed. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay. Cute. I'm going to start. Um, you know, this is my good face palette, my blushes, my everything palette. So just going with the neutrals. I'm going to start my eyes. Ooh, talk about upstate New York. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I am from the 607. I am from Binghamton, New York. I went to school in like Endwell, which is like a sub community in Binghamton. <laughs> um, it was fun. It was cute. Lived in West Virginia for, like, four years of my childhood. You know, I went back to upstate. And then, uh, yeah, moved here. <laughs> Let's see. I do have Polish roots. Yeah, so my dad's side is mainly Polish and, like, a touch of Italian. Um, and then my mom's just, like, English, like, basically, like, a European mutt, essentially. Um, and I do not speak Spanish, unfortunately. Ooh. Do I have a gig? I do have a gig. Um, what was I going to say? I, my gig's at Skinny Brunch, uh, or not at Skinny Brunch. It's called Skinny Brunch. Um, with me and Jasmine Rice LaBeja at Hardware Bar in New York City, uh, in between 47th and 48th on 10th Ave. My home bar. <laughs> How many wigs do I own? Too many to count. That's just the wig shelf. And then there's a wig drawers. And there's more wigs there. And there's more wigs here. I have a lot. Let's see. My cat's doing amazing. Let's see. What music have I been listening to lately? Mm, I listen to, like, the same music all the time. Just the music I perform, not gonna lie. But... Um, Mama Roo's album, duh. <laughs> shameless plug, shameless plug. Um, who else? Uh, what else have I been listening to? Oh, I Can't Get Fast by Sweetie out of my head. Um, uh, Big Dick Energy, I Can't Get Out of My Head. Yeah, a lot of Sweetie and, you know, being like that. Let's see. What's my fave wig I own? My v wigs by Vanities. Um... I have three in this, like, short little bob moment. Deja was wearing it last night, or Friday on that episode, my blonde one, and I was wearing my pink one, but I also have a purple one. Those are my favorite wigs. Just the lace quality on them is amazing. We're going to do a neutral, uh, um, neutral-ish eye tonight. But what songs are you twirling to for Skinny Brunch? Um, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna do My Heart in My Head because that's freaking iconic right now. Um, George just ate that lip sync. As you guys can see, I could not get my eyes off of her. Let's see. Oh, what was the process for creating the look for the runway this week? Oh, yeah, of course. So, yeah, we could talk about that. I actually have it right here. Let me grab it out. So... Here she is in her full glory. Up close. This is the back. She's really cute, isn't she? So essentially, this is like four years worth of like saving up on stones. Um, that I've like had a bunch of other green outfits that I've like saved. And, um, you know, over time kept over it. And then like these brooches and stuff are just from like literally like random um purchases that i've done at like earrings plaza in new york city <laughs> um which is like an earring store and then yeah just stone the shit out of it you know it's like literally like there you can't see the corset at all it's just all the stonework but there's probably like nine different types of stones all in 20s and 30s and then there's appliques bigger stones I would say nine in the 20s and 30s. I'm not talking about the big brooches and stuff like that. But yeah, it was fun. It probably took me like four days. Like if I did like six hour days, probably four six hour days 
to finish that. Yeah, the TV. I mean, it doesn't some decent justice, the TV, but it definitely sparkles more in person. Let's see. Okay, now I gotta put um, another shade of brown in my eye because I'm an SS30 and an SS20 girl. I love 20s. Just because 20s, like, mm, they're just smaller and they pick up better in camera and they look better like uh, flexes of um, flex in photos. But yeah. Um, and then I'm dipping into this palette, the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. <laughs> Plug. The Amrezi palette. Okay. Ooh, I assume it was... Yeah, so that, out, that, that was made, yeah, prior. And then I had it, and then I added the fringe to it. Come to Stonewall and Huntington. Oh my god, I'd love to. Yes, I am a Gemini. Gemini, May 22nd, baby. Can I speak a little bit of French? Wee oui, wee. Oui. That's all I know. Cuisson. Is being a drag queen stressful? <laughs> Yes. Everything has to be color coordinated and make sure you can see everything at the same time. Drag queens, are, it is dress. Uh. Jasmine's getting a lot of time this season. We could use more. Yeah. Did not expect to get this picture, so I'm not going to lie about I am not complaining. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you, Alexa. I miss you. I'm gonna be coming down to West Virginia soon. How long does it take to me to get into full drag? Um, let's see. Mm, hour and a half, too, depending on the time. Um, what was that one question? How long have I been doing drag? I've been doing drag for seven years, going on eight soon. Um, they totally cut that out of the <laughs> episode this week, um, when me and Georges were talking. Me and her literally started at the same time doing drag. We started at 15, sneaking into clubs at 16. Um, same story, just different uh, different locations. Hers was in Tennessee, and I was in upstate New York. Okay. Uh, thank you. Let's see, we're going to add a cranberry in there just to make it pop a little bit. I'm feeling a little razzle-dazzle razzle today. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, yeah, my family is super supportive. My dad, my mom, you know, my sister, my boyfriend, they're all super supportive of me. They're super excited. Tips on if you want to start doing drag, do it. <laughs> It's the best tip. Also, um, don't have very high expectations in terms of yourself in the beginning because everyone starts somewhere with drag and, you know, it's practice. You know, I've been doing this for seven years, you know, and still get to told I look old, which I do. <laughs> Listen, if you can't laugh at yourself, how the hell are you going to laugh at someone else? Am I right? Pink and orange are your colors. Thank you. I think pink and orange work really good on my skin tone. I also love greens, um, like cranberries. I love those as well. What else do I have a lot of colors of? Green, nudes look great. I have a lot of cool tones. I don't love warm tones, but if it's like a cool tone orange, you know, even though cool tone orange can't have a cool tone, but you know what I mean. Let's see, am I missing anything? Are there any other rude girls part of your family? Nope. I am a, I am the solo one in my drag family. I have a drag sister who, like, I started drag with who was on Camp on a Kiki, but, like, she was, like, the first girl that ever hosted my, one of my shows, but we're still really good friends. Um, how did I learn to dance? From cheer. I was a cheerleader in high school, and also I just have, you know, 
too much sugar in the engine, as the old the boomers will say, as a child. So, also for my dad, my dad was like a polka dancer growing up. Him and his sister did like a touring polka thing. Are you ever scared of what they say on Pit Stop or Fashion Photo Review? No, because it's opinion, and everyone has an opinion. <laughs> so, you know, we can't fret on others' opinions, you know. Uh, I love Izzy. Yeah, I love performing with her. That girl is my good time gal. Um, I'm actually going to see her tonight because she does the show right after me and Jasmine. That's if she shows up on time, but. Favorite drag queen of all time. There's a lot. I'm going to do, I'm going to break it down in categories. Okay. If we're going to go classic pageantry, con like continental vibes, my favorite is Mimi Marks, hands down. That's always has, always will. Mimi Marks is my icon. Um, if we're going to go into, like, the drag realm, things like that, um, I would have to say, like, Meatball or Vander Von Ott. I worked with Vander, like, a couple years ago. Sweetest person in the world. If we're going, you know, campy comedy, things like that. Jasmine Reyes Labeja, even though she's not that, she's the singer as well. There's a lot of favorites. What is the worst injury that's ever happened to me during lip syncing? <laughs> I could, there's, I have an answer for this. When I was, babe, how old was I? When I was in the Ritz, 19? Okay. So, funny backstory. Uh, my front teeth, um, like half of it is fake. And let me tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> I was 19, still a spring chicken. Um... Yes, Jasmine Rice, Venmo, Rice, NYC. Um, so there is this night at the Ritz in, um, oh, here comes Avea. Hi, babe. You want to tell this story? You weren't alive when this story happened. You were still, just a couple years before you were born. Anyway, <laughs> at the Ritz, um, about to perform for Turnt Wednesdays, if you guys remember that show, it was Madeline Hatter, it was Aja, it was me, Jasmine Rice did it, sometimes quarterly, um, I am, it's the gift of the gap, <laughs> um, and I did a 360 split, and my head just hits the ground, and I lift it up, and there's actually a video of it on YouTube, go on Nasty Queens, um, it's on Nasty Queen's YouTube if you find it. It's me in a red fringe outfit, blonde hair, black bodysuit. And you see me do a 360 split and put my head down and pull back up. And then I go back to the stage and, like, I can, like, you can see me touch my tooth. And, yeah, I chipped a tooth. That was the worst injury. What do you want? You want the eyeshadow? We'll see. <sighs> Anyway, back to painting. <laughs> Don't come for my rainbow sweater. This is my favorite rainbow sweater. I also wear it because my house is freezing. <laughs> What's my favorite look on the season so far? Definitely last week's, the green, just because I made it. But also, um, hey, and the J-Lo, because the J-Lo is the most expensive one. <laughs> What's my favorite color? Green. Are you watching UK versus the world? Absolutely. It was great. Oh my God. Talk about television. That was a thing. Would you start your own? Thank you, Jasmine. Um, would you start your own drag family? So I am a part of a drag family. Would I adopt a drag daughter? Yes, because I need someone to stone my shit like I used to stone my drag mother's shit. So absolutely. Just got to find the right one. Are you going to make it a um, makeup palette? I mean, I only feel it's right that they make a doppelganger palette. Anastasia Beverly Hills, if you're watching, or a collaborative palette. Who are you rooting for on UK versus the world? All of them. Actually, um, <laughs> I was rooting for Lemon. Because that's my, my CSIS. 
Also, Jasmine Rice is drag daughter. <laughs> All right, let me cut this crease, y'all. Sorry if I go silent for a second. You know me, I'm never gonna go silent. Do I like Jeffree Star or James Charles? <laughs> None of the above. <laughs> Which, why it irks me so much that everybody compares me to him, and I'm just like, can we, I'm like, ugh. I'm like, can we not? Oh, thank you for the badge, by the way. Um, Badly John is young cat. <laughs> I love that. Thank you for the badge. If you guys want to, like, leave a badge, you know, give me a little gift. A bitch is broke and still has to pay off her drag race. <laughs> okay. My toxic trait is commenting puns on all your posts. I love it. Keep it up. I love the puns. Anyway, back to my rant about being compared to James Charles. Can you please stop all my fans? Please don't. Or not my fans, my hater. <laughs> Whoever calls me James Charles, I'm considering y'all a hater. Because, ugh. And to think he's from upstate New York, too? Ooh. Anyway, I gotta stop. <laughs> I gotta stop. Canceled. Cancel culture. Come on. Ugh. Anyway, that's kind of a cut crease. See you at Skinny Brunch. That's like cut enough, right? I'm gonna do liner over anyway. <laughs> yes, I'm actually updating uh, within the next day or so. My website should be updated with all my two. Uh, dates of me traveling and things like that. Oh, thank you, Lindsay, for the, the badge. Um, what was I going to say? My sister is actually going to hop on my... My sister's becoming a part of my website team. <laughs> Shout out, sis. Um, she's going to be updating my website for me on dates and things of, like, my schedule and where I'll be working. That's going to include New York City as well. Um, because throughout the year, I am going to be doing some gigs as well back in New York City. Cheers. Okay. Yeah, no, listen, the girls, listen, I know they kept on saying my name and untucked and things like that, but, um, it is not my problem. <laughs> you know, listen, they don't want to be like me, but at the same time, they're being like me, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mom, not over live. You need to send her your password. I know. Come on, Joy Bob, the rescue. Uh. Sorry, cut in the crease. Which country do you want to perform the most? Oof. So many. But, I mean, honestly, I would love to go to Brazil. And then I would love... Do a UK tour, an Australia tour, an everywhere tour. I think everywhere. Do I support lesbian rights? Uh, fuck yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Can you come to Rochester, Buffalo? Absolutely. There's actually, um, I have a promoter up there that wants to book me and I would love to go up there. I know a lot of the girls up in Buffalo. Miss Daphne York, Miss Vanna Do, she used to be a New York City queen. How do I take care of my hair? I shampoo and condition it, and I actually do everything that you're not supposed to do with it. Um, I put it in a ponytail when it's wet. I <laughs> use a lot of heat on it. I just slack it up with a lot of hairspray and add another couch rinse. Hairline is getting screwed up because of that. So I take minimal care of it, but just shampoo and conditioner. Uh, 
I would love to come to Brazil. Oh, getting aggressive on this, uh, what should we call it? On this live open here. Favorite song to lip sync to? Um, I'm gonna do my When I'm Tired lip sync song and my favorite, like, actual lip sync song. My favorite tired song is like when I, oof, it's the end of the set. I know what I'm gonna do. I can still give it is Kehlani, um, again. And then, whatchamacallit, Kehlani again. And then my upbeat song that I love to do a lot is, ooh, babe, what's a good one? Mmm. I don't know. There's so many. Um, what's a good song that I do? I'm trying to think. I always say Lush Life by Zara Larson. I always say that, but I haven't performed that in a while. But it's always a good go-to. What's your favorite 80s lip sync song? Ooh, y'all gonna read me. I was born in the 90s, so... I don't know if this was in the 80s. It may have been in the 90s, so please don't sue me. I don't actually want to say it. I was going to say Cold Hearted Snake. That was probably done in, like, 97. I can't. <laughs> I would love to come to Belfast. Oh, my God. French homework or Drag Race Lives? Um, I mean, you can just tell your teacher um, you were doing, whatchamacallit, you're doing studying. It was 1989. You're good. Perfect. Then Cold Hearted Snake. <laughs> yes, I am a 99 baby. Am I a Fifth Harmony fan? Am I a Fifth Harmony fan? Pull up in the car so what? It's a Benz. Wait, what's that? No, I said it so wrong. Oh my god. <laughs> Pull up in the club so what? It's a Benz. Oh my god, I can't. Anyway. Let's see. Let's get this line here going. I look like a granny when I do this. You like Little Mix too? Of course. Girl, I love all girl groups. Give me a girl group song. I'm gonna do it. Sorry, I just got real quiet there. What's your fave secret step in your makeup? Uh, you know what it is? It's, I do this, like, thing at the very end. So, like, after I'm done contouring my face, I will go back in with powders, hit all my powders up, and then I'll do, like, my bottom of my eye and my eyebrows and, like, my highlight. Like, that part of my makeup is my favorite because it's almost, um, it's, like, the finishing part. Just a small, like, little liner tonight. I think that's the thing. Can I say hi to La Grupa? La, sorry, I just burped. La Grupa. Um, hola, La Grupa. I'm assuming that's for... Sorry, I don't know why I said hola. I'm so stupid. Anyway. Let's see. Anyway. Shout out to my ex. Okay, I'll shout out to your ex. Hey, ex. Um, la, 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 la. Oh, wait, that's the... <laughs> my boyfriend just said, oh, my God. And I just realized that Shout Out to My Ex is a Fifth Harmony song. Or a Little Mix song. I'm an idiot. Oh, my God. How many pets do I have? I have one, but we're in the process of adopting a boy right now. A little boy, kitty cat. He's six months old. Um, and his name's Theo. Well... The adoption name is Anderson, but we're going to change it to the L. Let's see. Let's do this line now. Do I have a boyfriend? I do have a boyfriend. His name is uh, Anthony Michael Wiggs on Instagram. Or Michael. His name is Michael, but that's his Wigg account. 
Um, have I performed with Lemon? Absolutely. Me and Lemon actually both before this was before she got on Canada. We both worked Pride together with L'Oreal on their Pride float. And um yeah, she's a blast. I love her. We did a couple competitions together going through New York City. She's a great time. So much fun. Okay, the liners don't really match, but <laughs> it's all good. Sorry, I just had to finish that. <laughs> Cute. Let me set this. Ooh. Noise just went out in one of my ears. I did not know what that was. Were you a back spot and cheer? Um, yes, I was a back spot and cheer. I, for my senior year, I was a back spot. My junior and sophomore year, I was a main base. Um, yeah. Let's see. Okay. Face or eyes done. I know it's super simple, but simplicity is the new thing. <laughs> How long have I been doing drag? I've been doing drag for seven years, going on eight soon. So everyone is 15. What do I need? Oh, duh. My foundation. Is this the new glue stick? It is. Where's the old glue stick? There. Okay, what else do I need? I'm doing my face. I should know this by now. Powder. Cute. Anyway, getting back to it. Oh, did you hear that? My little kitty. She just sits on the desk the whole time while I get ready. She's a little baby. Okay. Ever performed with Jan? Um, I actually, me and Jan never actually worked together. I've worked with Rose. Me and Rose had a show together for a little bit. Me and Laguna worked together at the viewing parties of hardware. Um, yeah. So I have a big friend group. Do I have bigger friends or a few really close ones? Um, socially, I have a lot of friends, but in terms of like my everyday life and things like that, I would say I have a close knit group of friends. Let's see. What am I looking for? Oh, primer. <laughs> no, I should glue my sideburns first and then primer. Alright, so. Have you ever met someone? Me. Um, yes, I have. Actually, I worked with her one time when she was in New York City um, at the Ritz for Tarrant Wednesdays. Um, super sweet. Um, and what was the, There was another question I saw up there. Did you stone your spring runway yourself? I did. All of that. <laughs> I have never been to Poland. No, I have not. I've wanted to go. Plenty of my dad's gone to Poland. Um, let's see. Stilettos or sli slippers? Stilettos. Well, <laughs> stilettos. <laughs> Are you coming to the UK? I'm supposed to be. My manager said I am. I just don't know the dates yet. Do you want to come to Brazil? Of course I want to come to Brazil. 
How long did it take you to stone the corset? Um, so I think I said, what was it? Four days, four six hour days, I guess you could say. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was reading a weird one. Do I watch Dragula? I honestly, I do watch Dragula. I have not, like, watched fully the last season of it, um, to be completely honest. I think it was, like, in the middle of us shooting our promo and stuff, so I was, like, ugh. Very stressed out about that. Oh my god, it attacks a job. Wait, oh, I remember this comment. Oh, guess it. Good job for quite the tax of job, babes. Do I have any straight human hair wigs? None. Let's see. Let's see. Sorry, I'm like getting lost in the comments. <laughs> and I'm like trying to read them and like respond. Okay. Let me glue my sideburns. Any California dates coming up? Yeah, I actually should be in California. It's not on my scheduled dates yet, but it should be at the end of the f end of February. I should be in LA. Oh, thank you, love. Jasmine was my first drag name. Yes, Kennedy, though, was not my first last name. My first last name was Jasmine Rikers, or Rikers, like Rikers Island, because I was, like, 16. I was like, I want to be jailbait, not knowing what that was. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, we changed that real quick. When my mom found out I was being a drag queen, she's like, listen, you got to be a classy drag queen, so we changed it to Kennedy. Do I have a fun name for my fans? Yes, I do. Y'all my bimbos. My backflip. Well, I'm the backflipping bimbo, but y'all my bimbos. Have you got any work done to your face? Nope, I've gotten no work. All I've gotten is Botox in my forehead for my forehead lines. I have to go get more because this one's coming back in. And I got filler to counteract my spine lines. So nothing in the cheeks, nothing in the jaw. Just Botox and filler for my smile. Okay. Do I still perform in New York or Binghamton? I do still perform in Binghamton once in a while. I actually was just up there last week. I probably won't be up there for a, a, a month or so, depending on scheduling and things like that. But um, if you guys are in Binghamton, you guys want to, um, whatchamacallit? Um, if you guys want to go see shows or see The Viewing, you should go see Cherry Blase's show at The Garage, and then they do a show at The Cave after. Yeah, so, um, I glue my hairline down because my hairline, because I have long hair, is more forward compared to when I shave it, like, this is all gone. So, I have to glue it and cover it with powders and foundation, so when I put my wig on, you don't see my hairline. Let's see. So next, we're just color correcting. Where are we going tonight? Tonight, I am going to Hardware Bar in Hell's Kitchen for Skinny Brunch with Jasmine Rice LaBeja. It's Nikki Boombox, our lovely DJ. And yeah, show's around 7. 
If Jasmine shows up on time, then it'll be 745. <laughs> okay. Fierce. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, this powder is not working. I gotta get the powder. Do I have any cool tattoos? I do. I have um on my arms, um my sister and my mother's horoscopes. So Leo Sun Fire for my sister, and then Pisces Neptune Water for my mom. Okay. Now I need to prime. Is this primer out? Oh no. Oh no, it's not. We're good. We're good. It's kind of out. So I want to use all the ones that they can. Okay, fierce. Oh, not that pimple. No, ma'am. I'm a Gemini. So yeah, I'm not a Sag. I'm so sorry. <laughs> not a Sag. I'm a Gem. I need a little bit more primer on my forehead. Don't we think? Just that's. I know. It keeps on waking up my cat every time I do that. Okay. Okay, got that primer in. I'm just gonna hit my chin for color correcting because we do not need a five o'clock anywhere. I see. Oh, I haven't even actually, let me look at these questions real quick. I haven't even looked at, oh, now it says no questions. Okay, <laughs> it says seven on it, but okay. Anyway, so it's color correcting. Am I looking a little baggy under the eyes? Let's do that too, just to brighten up my eye. Okay. Hey, I have a powder. I should do lives more often because every time I do lives, I don't necessarily pay attention extremely hard on my eyes, but then when I look at them, I'm like, I didn't do that bad. Compared to when I'm like not doing lives and I start freaking out about everything. <laughs> okay. Time to watch my sideburns disappear. This just sounds lovely and liquidy. Okay. I love this foundation. It is like a shade dark, but I hit it with the highlight to compensate. This was definitely my summer color. I'm no longer this color. <laughs> I gotta get winter, but then like, it's gonna become spring and then like, I'm gonna have to buy the summer color again. So I'd rather just bulk it up with highlight. And yes, this is not the most hygienic way to put on a foundation, but nobody else is using this foundation. I like looking like Picasso before I'm blending in everything. You know. Fierce. So. Tay, I'm driving while my son's safe, I love. Let's see. Let's see. Do I speak Romanian? I do not speak Romanian. I only speak English, sadly. I am a uneducated um, child of uh, common core language and critical thinking when I grew up in public school. So I did not have advanced studies in languages. Anyway, but see how that just covers up my hairline. It's not necessary. You're not covering the texture or like, or like you're not like clearly there's going to be texture there still because it's hair, you know? But it definitely covers it enough so when I put a lace front on it, it's not, um, like, showing. 
Do I have a fave Drag Race winner? Yeah, previous winners, my favorites would have to be... Well, it's so hard. You know, because I'm just a fan of drag. I just love drag so much that, like, it doesn't really matter what the drag is. It's just personality-based. I definitely have to say probably Bob, Bianca, I mean, the classics. I mean, of course. Um, Bianca, Bob, and who else are probably my favorites? Oh, Raja. Those are probably my top three favorites for winners. Do I like Alyssa Edwards? Um, I love her. Actually, funny story. Little tidbit. George just FaceTimed me like a week ago. I was thinking it was her, right? But y'all know that George just had a gig with Alyssa. So I'm at my hotel. I'm getting a FaceTime from George. So I'm like, oh, I get to talk to my sis. Yes. And then <laughs> it's freaking Alyssa on the phone. <laughs> and I'm literally like freaking out. I was like, George, you didn't prepare me for this, but... Literally, she was like, I love you. My boyfriend and I are looking at you and, like, you know, keep on saying you're, like, a mini up me. And I was just like, oh, thank you. It means a lot, you know. So, she's very sweet and I love her. Favorite non-winners. Oh, yeah. Roxy Andrews. Detox. Um, 